Hi golfers, it's Andy Gordon here in sunny Valencia. Well, I'm out here on my terrace thinking, I need to do some golf practice today, um, but I can't get to the golf club or can't get to the driving range, but I want to do something to help myself out. So this is a perfect exercise for you to practice at home. What you need to get is a golf club, a 9 iron or 8 iron, and a piece of dowel or an alignment stick like I've got here, and hold onto both in your grip. Okay, so you've got the, the extension, or the dowel, or the alignment rod, pointing the same direction as an extension of your golf shaft. Now, from here, what I want you to do is take your normal posture position, place the golf club flat on the floor, and rest the toe against the wall. Now, from here, I want you to make a couple of back swings to the top, and back down again. To the top, and back down again. Now, what are we going to do now? Is do the same thing, but you're going to stop halfway. So, you're going to take your address position, and you're going to swing back, and stop halfway. So with a little checkpoint here, the left arm now is parallel to the ground. And, what do I want to look for? Well, the extension of my shaft should be, if it's correct, pointing at the base of my wall. So the part where the floor and the wall join. So let's go through that again. So I swing back, I stop when my left arm is parallel to the ground, and the extension of my shaft is, parallel, is pointing at the base of the wall. Now, we can see two other examples of a backswing here. We can have a flat position, something similar to Angel Jimenez, the uh, famous Spanish golfer. We could also have an upright backswing playing position, similar to say Jim Furyk. Now, do we want those? Well, they do pretty well doing it that way, but what they do have is lots of talent, lots of time to practice, and they have the ability to change these positions in the downswing into something which is correct. Now, the backswing is important. The downswing is even more important. So, in practicing now, we're going to swing to the top, and we're once again going to stop halfway down, making sure that the shaft and the extension is pointing at the base of the wall. Okay, so just going to go through that again, repeat that again. So when we make our back swing, and we make our down swing, the shaft and the extension should end up pointing at the base of the wall. If the golf, shove, golf club in the down swing becomes too vertical, there's a good chance that our club head will swing on an out to in swing path, and we will hit some pull shots or slicing shots, depending where the club face is aiming. If in the down swing, the shaft or the extension becomes too flat or horizontal. There's a good chance we might strike the golf club on the ground before the ball. We may even hit some push shots or some hook shots, once again, depending where the club face is pointing. So it's really, really key and really important that you understand what shape of golf swing you've got. So just to finish with, let's repeat this. As we swing back, the ideal plane position would be one where the extension of the shaft points at the base of the wall in the back swing and the down swing. That will allow us to deliver the golf club back to impact in a good position and it will also allow us to find the centre to the club face more often. And that's really key for distance control and for maximising your distance. Hope you enjoyed the video. Speak to you soon.